Welcome to Northeast Current this week. I'll be your host, Rock and Roll, and here at Northeast Current, we like to highlight different businesses, people, and events that are relevant in Northeast Pennsylvania. Come and join us as we talk to Daniel Llewellyn and Mike Capitano of The Spot on Montage. It's a recording studio, boutique, and it's an excellent place to come as a local artist and expand your craft and, and get to know what's going on in our area. From downtown Scranton, this is Northeast Current. WQPX invites you to join us as we explore public affairs, current events, and arts and culture in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. Now, let's meet today's guests on Northeast Current. Welcome to Northeast Current this week. I'll be your host, Rock and Roll, and here at Northeast Current, we like to highlight different businesses, events, and people in the Northeast Pennsylvania area. This week, it is my absolute pleasure to bring you guys up to the spot at Montage, owned by Mr. Daniel Llewellyn and Mike Capitano. How you doing, Daniel? How's it going? Excellent, excellent, man. So, I do the music thing here at Northeast Current. I like to get the different artists in their area involved with what's going on and, and the different things that they can utilize to advance their careers further. I had talked to you guys, I had talked to uh, Mike at the barbershop about this place when you guys were originally opening up and mm -hmm. I had let him know that I was interested in coming through and he invited me through and it's an absolute pleasure to be here to talk to you. So tell me a little bit about yourself, man. You, you're from around here? Uh, I'm from Blakesley right down the road in the Poconos, right by the racetrack. Uh, born and raised in racing my whole life. My dad worked at a race school. Okay. Uh, Auto racing? Yeah, yep. Oh, uh, okay. Got a need yep. He did onboard video for a race and photography. No kidding. Yep. I've worked at that racetrack a couple of times during the races. It's, it's just an absolute it's, ball yeah, up there, man. It's a good it's, time. Yeah, it definitely is. So how'd you get into this music thing? Because it looks like you're doing it pretty heavy around here. Uh, I used to be a DJ before we went into this. I had my own DJ business. I did karaoke at bars and stuff like that. Okay. And uh, Is that something you still do? Is you still available for booking? Uh, no, not anymore. Okay. I kind of switched it over to the recording scene. Is it a lot of work? Is it DJing a lot of work? Uh, it's fun. You know, it's entertaining as you meet a lot of people. Yeah, I'd imagine. Um, I'd imagine. So, Daniel, I wanted to ask you, uh, how did you, how'd you get into the music thing? Like, what's some of the things that got you started in this whole thing? Uh, well, I always loved uh, techno music and I used to play around with making my own mixes putting songs together and then the one day I decided to turn it into a business and that's when I started DJing and I realized that it was really hard to make money doing that so I moved into the karaoke scene and stuff and uh, then I had an opportunity to be a sound engineer at a festival and I learned that I, had a, I saw that I had a good ear for running the mixer and I kind of just turned that into this Oh, that's uh, awesome. That's awesome. So you do there's some festivals and the sound. That's a, that's a lot of work, man. Yeah, I, that, that was what really showed me, you know, that my ear was on point. If you can handle doing that live, you could definitely do it in the studio. So Now, now what about the physical work part of this? Like, how much work did it take to get this to the point where you, you know, where you are now? Years. It took a long time to get here. Um, it definitely didn't happen overnight. So, so how long have you guys been open here? Uh, we've only been open there about two months. Our recording studio has been open for probably four. Happy with how things are going? Everything been going satisfactory? Yeah, it's been going very smooth. Uh, it's been a good first couple months. We're very right. happy. You're located in an interesting place. I see you right across the street from the baseball stadium right there. Does, does that help with any, with any uh, traffic coming through? Uh, we're hoping this summer that's actually going to bring a lot of traffic through. That and the... Uh, the festival's up on Montage. Oh, think yeah, yeah, be. I guess you guys are right near yeah, We're right near Montage Mountain for you guys. Right on, It's called the Spot at Montage. It's right across from the entrance to the baseball stadium and down the road from the concert hall. It's an excellent facility. So I, I'd like to maybe get walk through and show me a little bit about what you got going on here. You think we take a walk around us maybe? Right on, absolutely, All man. All right, come on, let's take a walk around show me a little bit. This is our booth. Man, uh, we want to be able to incorporate... Larger instruments, like if we wanted to get a drum set, we can also record the drums out there if they want more open air for okay. a different sound. Hey, have, uh, so what kind of, have you been involved in projects yet? Have you done anything yet that is on YouTube or anything that people can check out? I actually just recorded a gentleman live up in Clark Summit. His name is Mike Dillon. Uh, he's an acoustic guitar player. He does cover songs. Uh, you can find him online, Mike Dillon. Mike Dillon on YouTube. Go check Shout that out. out. And that'll give you an opportunity to see some of uh, Mike's, uh, some of Daniel's skills on the mixing board and how he does it. I'm getting him and Mike mixed up, with they, but they work together like a hand in a glove. So we're going to take you guys through a little bit and show you some of the stuff that's available that they have here besides the recording studio. As you can see, all of this stuff is 
everything that wow man you guys into some serious weaponry there ah, yeah we have medieval, a little bit of everything a little bit of everything medieval axes going on here as we had the tattoo studio is going to be there and we had the two rooms for the studio so it was kind of so perfect. you guys going to be doing some tattoo in here too? Yeah, absolutely in about two months we're aiming for that should be going you know Okay. So, uh, check us out online. Stay tuned for updates on that on Facebook. I've got some, some, what is it, some handmade uh, jewelry stuff? Yep. These are made by a lady who runs a cat rescue. And it's, her, it's called Cat Lady Creations. Everything is handmade from recycled materials. Um, it oh, supports awesome. a good cause. Yeah, it's good. It's I cool. was checking out the, uh, the Rastafarian. I'm oh, yeah. loving this. We got lots of tie-dyes. Bob Marley. Yeah, Bob Marley. Yeah, we even have some sports tie-dyes going on. All right, a little some bit Eagles everything. fans. We got some Eagles fans yep. up here. Yep. All right, all right. So we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Mr. Mike Capitano, and while I beat him like he stole something, we're going to talk a little bit more to you about what's going on around here. So, Mike, how did this whole thing, how did this whole thing come about? How did, how did you guys get started with this whole thing? You know, actually, uh, we were hanging out over at my house. My partner, Dan, he, uh, he stops by, and he was like, you know, Mike, I think we should open up a boutique. It's like, a boutique? All right, you know, I'm, I'm all right with that. I, that sounds interesting. But if we're going to open up a boutique gift shop, you know, sell, sell swords and everything that we have, <clears throat> tattoos. We have to incorporate tattoos. Is so that that's right? going to be a big thing here, that the tattoos are going to get that Oh, yeah, going. yeah. Actually, within the next couple of months, we hope to have these both rooms right here situated and ready. Do you um, have your artists together or are you accepting submissions from artists? Or? Actually, online, we are going to be putting out, you know, kind of like a, a hit out to everybody out here in this valley. <clears throat> um, they can I mean, submit their artwork and you guys can take a look at it? Right. Our, our biggest focus here is local artists. You know what I mean? That's with the recording studio. We want to be... Okay. Out that's, here that's for, what we, we do. We that's want, what we do. We want, want yeah, characters. exactly. Yeah. We want everybody out here to know, you know, what that we're we're right in your backyard. We're right here. We've been here not too long, but we hope to make one heck of an impression. You know what I mean? I got you. We, I'm we definitely want, impressed, man. <clears throat> Thank you. We, you guys have got it going on, man. We want um we want local artists. We we do consignment here. We want <clears throat> local tattoo artists from the valley. I mean, some of these. I, I've been in the field out here for a little while now. Okay. I did tattoos in Florida, tattoos in New York. Being here in the state of Pennsylvania, <clears throat> there are so many local artists. There's so much raw yeah. talent out here. Raw but talent. the problem is, is nobody has any place to do it. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. A lot of a lot of these artists, they're unrecognized, okay. and that's that's what we are trying to do. Is we're trying to showcase these artists. So. Okay. So you've been doing tattoos <clears throat> for a long time, then. Um, I have. Uh, it's it's. It's been a little while now since I since I've held a machine in my hand. You get, I mean, you get, I've been, you get into the music <clears throat> thing any, at all. Well, actually, that's where me and him kind of bonded on. Is growing up in South Florida, it's a big house music scene down there. Okay. So that that techno, that that ear for the bass, yeah. me and him both have it. You get and to that's, that e EDM and, and that kind. Of actually, um, just putting in my tickets or putting in for my tickets here shortly for the the EDC in New York. So okay, because I I seen that place they sell out Madison Square Garden with that EDM right. music. Yes. Like, uh, tickets out, they, they sell out like now, and, and that concert's not even anywhere close to being around. Is that <clears> something <throat> you guys are looking for in the future? Maybe putting on some different events or something like um, that? Um, I mean, slowly, yes. We, uh, we have a couple spots around, uh, Montage for the Blues Festival, for, uh, the, they do, like, a big electric dance festival that okay. they do up in Montage now, too which we'll have a, a booth out there, so you'll see okay. spot a montage out there. So what else are you guys montage. hoping for for the future? What you got going on for the future? Um, well, we're hoping to have tattoo studios, recording studios. Uh, we'll have a local pool league. Uh, right now we're not doing any traveling leagues or anything like that, but just the in-house where actually we have uh, cash prizes. <clears throat> um, Holy, every Thursday night. You know, we got some but, sharks around here. <laughs> I mean, we, we only have two tables. We're starting off real small, you know. Okay. But okay. right it's now we're doing a very homey good. atmosphere, man. Very comfortable. Very That's, enjoyable to come down. And I, I, excellent. I, I'm just glad, man, to see, you know, young men in the area having an opportunity to be successful and to, to help the other artists, to help the local artists oh, absolutely. move forward. It's well, I mean, excellent. like I said, that's that's our biggest thing. We're, we're, we're young. We're small time. You know what I mean? We are a local business. We know what it's like to try to be a small-time local business. So that's that's what we want to do is we want to showcase now you guys all the local talent. This is considered music. You, or you, don't have, you don't deal with the Scranton tax. It's um, totally different. 
Actually, it's, it's literally we are right on the borderline, so we're we're more towards the Scranton tax. Actually, okay, yes. okay, all right. <clears throat> but all right. music is considered was this Lacka, Lackawanna. Uh, Excuse me, I'm, I'm not sure with the Lackawanna Luzerne. I've only been out here a couple of years myself, but now I know I you know guys got a, a Facebook line. page with the spot and montage. Is there yes. any other any other uh, websites or any um, other thing you got up that people can go check out? We have our actual website online, www.thespotonmontage.com. www.thespotonmontage.com. So us. what do you got on that website? You got anything like any um, music or anything that people can check out on it? Actually, for right now, the music is... is Mostly our Facebook, um, as far as trying to incorporate that into the website, it's a little difficult at the moment with okay. just the, the basic kind of scale that we have. Um, but we do have uh, images of all the product that we sell here in this store. Okay. Um, I think maybe minus the incense. Okay. So, it's been an actual pleasure coming down talking to you, Mike. Absolutely you too, Daniel. It's been, a, it's been a great time, man. Listen. Make sure you hit them up on Facebook. It's the Spot at Montage. You can on. just message them. Spot on. Spot on Montage. Spot on Montage. They'll answer your messages Im immediately. They'll get right back to you. You can call the numbers right here on the screen, and these guys get right back to right back in touch with you. Excellent place for local artists to come down, get your music recorded, come down, get you some tattoos, maybe join the pool league. Just develop a relationship with these guys, and it'll be something that'll be available to you on into the future. Good luck, you guys, man. I hope that the future holds all the bright things that Absolutely. you that Thank you, you want. Much. You know, I that appreciate you, it. That you made it. Great meeting you, Daniel. Thanks for welcoming Northeast Current into your facility, and thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you soon, guys. Hope to see you soon down here at the spot on Montage. Peace. I think I know which one. I know which one. You're talking, you know what I'm talking about. about you, yeah. You've seen that with the babies born with the small heads? It's Especially fresh. now, man, with that Zika virus. What? It comes from mosquitoes. <laughs> I'm a little off subject now, but we're just busting it up a little bit, you know. They call them punks around here. Right, right. We call them incense. Yeah, yeah. We're getting look like I was winning the wrestling match. <laughs> I told him dudes like 250 pounds stacked. Eight ball, quarter pound. <laughs> Oh. Close. Oh. That was, that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mistake. Let me try that again. I thought you were going to beat me like I stole something. <laughs>